This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Today we are in the heart of Ayutthaya, a historic city near Bangkok that we've always wanted to visit. Join us as we explore the beautiful temples and ruins in the historic park and stay at a hundred year old traditional Thai house on a tiny island on the Jiao Praia River. morning from Ayutthaya. We just rented our bicycles here from Chanita Home and we're going to take them to explore the Ayutthaya Historic Park which is literally just 10 minutes down this road. So this is a really convenient location if you're looking for a more budget-friendly accommodation in the area or if you want to just rent bicycles. Ready? Yeah. He's the owner of the place. Bye bye! <laughs> it's a beautiful day to explore. You have to uh, shoulder check. Bye bye! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here is so friendly. Is that the noodle lady who thinks you're very handsome? Yeah, we <laughs> ate there the other day and they thought I was a very handsome Korean boy. They were surprised to find out that I'm Thai. <laughs> I like that the street is really wide, so there's room for us. And, and the traffic not, is not as bad. It's not out that here. busy, yeah. And I think they're used to people cycling around, so they kind of give way to you if you stay on the left side. Look at all the cars here, and everyone's lining up at that shop. I think we should try it. What is it? It's boat noodles. Oh, Michelin Guide. Selection 2022. And it says 20 baht, like 20 baht bowls? Yeah, 20 baht per bowl. That's like 75 cents. Let's do that. We eat first then? Yeah, it okay. gives us energy to cycle around the historic park. We're only 59, they're already calling 51. Oh, okay. I think it's going to move really fast. Should we go take a look over there? Sure. Oh, it's already 52. Yeah, okay, I think we, we should wait. <laughs> so this place is called Gui Tiao Pale. And it's a big operation. And, and it's all local ties coming as well. Yeah, it's only 20 by the bowl, but the bowl is so small. So I think we're going to need at least five each. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not five, because we need some room for dessert as well. Dessert looks so delicious. Yeah, oh my god. I'm just, I also need an iced coffee. It's so hot. This is like a traditional Thai dessert too. Maybe chef ice and you can select the toppings and you can choose either uh, langin juice on top or coconut milk. We have a problem. What? Okay. I already counted my coins. I counted 40 baht because you need to buy the pork rinds here before you go to the table. But there's no more pork rinds. People were taking like four or five bags of pork rinds to their table. Maybe, maybe they will make a new batch, but they have crispy wonton. But the pork rinds look so good. There's a reason why that family took 10. Any <laughs> more? <laughs> wow. They're actually not that small. They're quite big. And for those who don't know what boat noodles is, it is actually a very popular Thai noodle where the broth is thickened with pork or beef blood. So it just adds a lot of Umami taste. Yeah, like a, a, a meatier taste to the broth and because it's slightly thicker, it like sticks with your noodles better and it's just very tasty. Usually it is a bit spicy though. Yeah. So don't let the blood no, scare you off because, because it's cooked. It's cooked. It's like they put a little bit into the ladle and then they put like hot soup on top of it so it cooks really, really quickly, coagulates. It's really tasty. Don't be scared. 
I was scared, but now that I had it, I'll always eat it again. <laughs> How much were they? 20 baht each. They're still warm. This one has the skin and a little bit of the fat left on it. So it's extra delicious. Mm. You want them? Yeah. Just throw them in there. Let's park our bikes in the shade here. So convenient with the bicycles. Yeah. There you go. So we are now in Wat Mahathat, one of the most popular temples here in Ayutthaya. And it's popular because there is this... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the bird flew over my ear. I blacked out for a second. <laughs> I was going to say it's popular because of there is this spot where they have the head of the Buddha that the tree grew on top of it. Like it wraps around yeah. the head. Yeah. And I think a lot of the ruins we find in this area, you said, are part of the Ayutthaya period. period. So in the 13th, 14th mm -hmm. century, a long time ago. Looks like we're okay, Beth. We're not wearing those, and it doesn't say do not wear Crocs. So they have one Thai one, different Thai one, right? One Thai how many? Ten. 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 You can get some sort of like pass where you can visit more temples, but I think we'll just do it one by one mm -hmm. because outside of the temples is actually a cycling path, so we can just cycle past a lot of them to see what it looks like. of the tickets. It already says that like Ayutthaya was a flourishing Thai ancient city in Th of Thailand during 1350 to 1767. And then in 1991, um, it was designated as like a UNESCO World Heritage mm. site as well. Do you know the full name of Ayutthaya? No, but I did see that it was really long. It's Pratnakorn Si Ayutthaya. Pranakonsi Ayutthaya. Yeah. So it's just, does it mean something else? I think Pranakon, it just means um, big city. The big city of, of Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya. The grand city of Ayutthaya. So this is pretty grand mm -hmm. just by itself. And a lot of it already was damaged um, during the fall of Ayutthaya in 1767, it says that. A lot of parts of this um, Wat Mahathat area was set on fire during the Burmese attack. So all of this is like remnants of that. Mm. But it's very, very beautiful and it's a huge area. 
It's more grand than the one that we saw in Lopuri. There was also a Wat Mahatat in Lopuri. Mm. Real quick, once again, thank you to Squarespace for continuing to support our channel and for creating an awesome platform for building websites. As social media is essential to our business, we love how Squarespace makes it easy for us to share our content to our website directly from our YouTube and Instagram. And using their analytics tools, we can gain insights into who is visiting our website and how they're interacting with our content. It doesn't have to be overwhelming to start a new website. You can choose one of their award-winning templates to get started. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. So this is the most popular spot here at the temple as I mentioned before and you see the security guard telling everyone to sit down because you want to be lower than the Buddha head as a sign of paying respect in Thailand even in temples when you approach a monk or a Buddha statue you need to crawl to be lower than the head because head is the most important part of the body and the highest part. That's why if I, when I hit you on the head, your mom that's, doesn't like that. That's a no-no for Thai people. Yeah. <laughs> or, or pointing your feet at someone mm. because your feet is the lowest part of your body. Mm. Yeah, they're very strict here and it makes sense. You have to be respectful. This is a sacred place. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that security guard is doing a really good job. He's blowing the whistle and stuff, telling people to sit down. <laughs> in French, in Korean, in Chinese, in Thai, so far I've heard. <laughs> in English. Yeah, in English. That is very beautiful. Though. But how did he even get there? It's completely wrapped inside. It must have been there for hundreds of years. If we were to live here, I would just come here and picnic. Yeah, picnic, bike ride. Bring our camping chairs. Oh, you see that one over there? Yeah. All of these are little temples. They have little signs on them. arrived at the pier where we're waiting to get picked up by our hotel so this place is about 15 minutes away from the historic park so not far at all and the hotel we're staying at tonight is called Run Cup Team and the only way to get there is by boat because it is on a tiny island pretty close to here but there's like yeah there's no bridge or anything I think mm -hmm. that connects it it should only take five minutes to get there by boat yeah so yeah well we just called the hotel so they're sending someone to pick us up now gonna miss you rocket bye rocket we'll see you tomorrow just one night okay you be a good boy be a good boy think about what you did <laughs> <laughs> you keep saying that stop threatening rocket just uh, just be good we'll be back <laughs> Where? Where's our boat? This is so good. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Thank you. Wow. Look at this fancy service. VIP treatment. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Oh, you see the red fence? Yeah. It's just right there. Oh. <laughs> so it's less than five minutes. So you really cannot get there 
by any other means of transportation like you cannot drive there right ไม่มีทางขับรถไปใช่ไหมครับต้องไปทางเรืออย่างเดียวใช่ Yeah it's an island there's no access Must have been hard to build Yeah a place there But it's so easy to transport the material so so close to the mainland That's the quickest boat ride I ever took. <laughs> the property is so beautiful. Okay, we keep going straight. So this is just a um, ancient house, like it's over a hundred years old. I've never stayed in a traditional Thai house before. Really? Not like this. <laughs> Separate toilet. Oh, okay. So you have to come and use the toilet out here. That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't read that in the description. Yeah, I didn't know that also. This house is called Butsara Kham Five. Does that mean something? No, but it sounds beautiful. <laughs> it sounds... Okay, let's go see our room. Take off your shoes, of course. It's really nice. I like your first impression. Yeah. Okay. Let me put this down. Okay. You ready? Wow. Wow. Even the smell. It smells like old Thailand. <laughs> it smells really nice. It smells like lemongrass. <sighs> yeah, like a massage place. Wow. We have silk robes to wear. Oh. So they were out of double rooms, so we booked the last room available here, which is a triple room. So of course you can take this bed, and I'll take the double bed. And then you have a little sitting space just over here. No, to um, read a book. Or to uh, check catch Pokemon. To catch Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says please be quiet. Since this is a traditional Thai house that's made of wood, so it's not very soundproof, we ask you to walk softly and talk with moderate volume, just like the old Thai way of belief, so that your actions won't scare away the good spirits of the house. Mm -hmm. This. Every little decoration is so beautiful. All the artwork you see in the rooms. Wow. Oh, it's a beautiful watch. This is really nice. I guess because it's like an older property, the plumbing is is like separate from the room. And you're on an island. And we're on an island. But this is, yeah, this is really nice. And there's only another room next to us. So we basically have the washroom whenever we need it. So we just sat down with the owner and had the privilege to learn more about Ayutthaya, um, about this, this river area over here and her house specifically. So this house has been here for over a hundred years. It's passed on for at least three generations. Mm -hmm. And her grandparents, you said they used to not even live on the land. On the land. Back in the old days, you are not allowed to build anything on the land on this island. So most people live on the river on a raft. And then later on, they are allowed to move on land. So they moved the whole raft and build this house. And the raft is actually behind us. This whole there. section over here. They moved it to the second floor because it's it's basically a whole livable area. Mm -hmm. There's like a bedroom, there is a living room. A kitchen behind. Yeah, it's 
pretty amazing that that used to be on the river. So what are we having for dinner? We are having three items tonight. We're gonna start with this pomelo salad with giant prawns. And looks like there's shallots in there. Um, I don't even know. It looks it looks really yummy. It looks spicy. It has some chilies in there. And then this one, what was the name again? This one is Jang Ran Juan. Which is a different type of soup. She said it's like a braised, not braised, but a pork rib soup. It, with um, shrimp, shrimp paste. paste. I've never seen this before. Me too. Never heard of it also. I think there's basil in here as well. And the last one here is not usually on the menu, but she recommends it. It's one of her signatures. It's a braised beef cheek curry. In what Thai, we call it Gang Ra Wang. Yeah, this gang one I also Wang. never heard of. You think this is central food? Like central Ayutthaya, very old traditional recipes. Mm -hmm. Most people will not know what these two dishes are. Yeah, we were really lucky that we were able to ask her what she's good at cooking, and she well, she can cook everything really well on the menu. And she said people like to come and just eat the food, even if they don't stay overnight. But she doesn't open all the time because it's really tiring cooking for a lot of people. But she was happy to cook for us and cook all her special dishes. How's the bed? Really nice. How's the shower? It's lovely. And this silky rope. <laughs> it's so smooth and comfortable. <sighs> I feel like royalty wearing all gold. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice day in New mm -hmm. We got to see the beautiful temples and ruins that we wanted to and had delicious noodles. And coming here was kind of a nice, peaceful way of ending it. Yeah, because this is so far away from you know all the people that we saw today and like that part of the historic park is of course a bit more crowded and more busy but staying at this place in this 100 year old house and being fed homemade meal yeah that it, we don't think we can get it anywhere else <laughs> it feels a little like we are transported to another place yeah that there's no one really around. Mm -hmm. It's quite, an, quite a unique feeling to be staying on this island. We hope you enjoyed spending the day with us here in Ayutthaya. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night.